Welcome back everybody. As you can see, things look a bit different. As you can hear, things sound very different and not in a good way. And we'll talk a bit about that at the end of this video. But the main thrust of this video is I want to talk about which of the lossless, lossless streaming services is most popular amongst you people. Before we get to that, I want to talk a bit about how I got to asking that question. Because our last video was about CD sales and vinyl sales and which one was winning out and which metric we should use to judge that. And essentially we concluded, I think, that CD sales were pretty much still ahead, especially in Germany and the UK. And I think some of the people who sent me the RIAA report from the USA for the first half of 2022, that report suggested that vinyl is now stepping ahead of CDs. But we won't know the final numbers for 2022 until we see the RIAA's end of year report, which is not out yet. Now that video also triggered some of the streaming grumpies among you who were completely bemused as to why I was talking about CD sales and vinyl sales when apparently everybody streams nowadays. Which is a bit silly because unless you know everybody, how can you know what they're doing? But it's almost true because if we look at total revenue generated by streaming versus CDs and vinyl, and I've got a graph here from the RIAA from America on my tablet here, and it's, you know, like 10% is physical formats. The rest is streaming and sync, basically, which is where music is used in TV shows and adverts and things like that. So yeah, physical formats only really represent 10% of total music revenue. And I would have empathized more with the grumpies who you know, got annoyed about me talking about CDs and vinyl if this were a mainstream tech channel, but it's not. This is an audiophile channel, a hi-fi enthusiast channel, a home audio channel. So I thought rather than leave this to chance as to how many of you were buying CDs and vinyl still, I would ask you. And I created a poll on the YouTube community page. And I've got that poll and the results also on my tablet here. And I asked it nine days ago and 14,000 people responded, 14,000. To put that in context, that's about two thirds of the number of people that visit the Munich High End Show across its four day run every year. And in this poll, I ask a simple question, which physical format do you predominantly use, if any? And there were four options, vinyl, CD, cassette, because I know there are a whole bunch of cassette whatabouters out there whenever I leave it out. And then the fourth option was just an open door to anybody who was essentially just streaming nowadays. And it was, I think I wrote a little kind of sarcastic thing that says, nice one, dad, but I only stream music nowadays. And the results were kind of interesting because 28% of you said that you still buy vinyl. 27% of you said that you still buy CDs. 1% still buy cassettes. And then 44% of you are only streaming nowadays. But that tells us that 56% of you still buy physical formats. So that almost, I think that justifies my ongoing coverage of vinyl related stuff and CD related stuff. But I also ask the same question of my patrons who tend to be a more sort of audiophile, diehard type of an audience. 436 people responded here. And it was the same question with the same options. And 37% still buy vinyl. 34% still buy CDs. No one's buying cassettes in my Patreon audience. And 29% only stream. So 61% of my patrons are still invested financially in physical formats. But that brings us to the sort of the main question for this video, because I thought, okay, let's look closer at the people who stream. Now, because this is an audiophile channel, I wanted to narrow it down just to lossless streaming services. So essentially streaming services that offer CD quality streams and high res streams. And I did that basically because this is an audiophile slash hi-fi channel, 
but also because YouTube polls only give a maximum of five poll answers. So I can only put five options in for you to respond to. So I asked nine days ago, do you stream music in CD quality or high res? If yes, which CD quality slash high res music streaming service do you predominantly use? And the options I gave are as follows. Cobas, Tidal, Deezer, Apple Music, Amazon HD. For me, they are the big five. I actually wanted to have an option in here for like, no, I just use lossy services. But I thought if I did that and I missed off Deezer, I would get a load of Deezer whatabouters in the comment section of this video. So I didn't, I left Deezer in and I didn't have any option to say I only stream lossy services. So this is just a lossless streaming service poll. If you want a lossy streaming poll, you'll need to find that on another channel somewhere. So let's look at the results and we'll do them in ascending order. So least popular of the CD and high res streaming services was Deezer with 4%. Then with 9% was Amazon HD. Next up with 18% was Cobas. And then with 28% we've got Apple Music. And then 41% of you are streaming predominantly with Tidal. So Tidal is more popular than Apple Music and quite, you know, twice as popular as Cobas. I thought that was kind of interesting. But then if we go over onto my Patreon where I asked the same question, but I also added the option for lossy streaming because they give me six options here in, in the poll service on Patreon. So I asked the same question with Cobas, Tidal, Deezer, Apple Music, and Amazon HD as possible answers, but with the additional answer of nope, I only use lossy streaming services like Spotify. And we'll go through these in ascending order. 1% of those patrons responding use Deezer. 2% Amazon HD. Then 8% was people saying they only use lossy streaming services. 15% was Apple Music, which is behind Cobas with 31%. But still with 42% of the vote is Tidal, which is very similar to the YouTube vote at 41%. So Tidal is the most popular streaming service, lossless streaming service, amongst you people on YouTube and also amongst my patrons. And whether you're on Patreon or YouTube determines the, the number two streaming service. On Patreon, it's Kobo's, and on YouTube, it's Apple Music. And I think that's super interesting. And if you thought this was even vaguely interesting, please consider giving this video a like down below. If you like my attitude towards streaming service pop, sorry, lossless streaming service popularity, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Before I sign off on this video, yes, I have moved house. Yes, I have moved countries. I'm now in Lisbon. And yeah, this new lounge room sounds terrible. The reverb in here is just shocking. And it's not gonna be that way for long, but in the next video, I wanna talk about, yeah, the sound of this room. And also really, yeah, the sound of rooms and how important they are to a loudspeaker system. And if you're curious, I've got two sets of loudspeakers set up behind me, a pair of Zoo Soul 6, which are being driven by an NAD M10 V2. And I've also got a pair of, in white, the Bookart A500. So yeah, we'll be looking at some Roomy Q Wizard measurements in the next video. But yeah, thank you ever so much for watching this video.